Hey guys, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Uh, I kind of not really abandon YouTube, but I don't have much of an interest in making videos anymore, which sucks considering I just spent 200 and something dollars on editing software a couple months ago. But um, we have some plans today. We're in the six Mercury Grand Marquis that you guys have not seen yet. I uh, recently purchased this last month. Uh, it has 66,000 actual miles. I had to replace the speedometer uh, because it quit working. So this one's from the junkyard. All the other gauges are original, but I have the uh, original speedometer here, 66,025 miles. But today, doing an oil change uh, it's not due for one not even close to being due for one matter of fact I'm a little bit stupid for doing it right now because the oil that's in here is perfectly clean it's only got probably 2,500 miles on it uh, it is conventional pens oil uh, high mileage oil nothing special I want to switch that out for Valvoline's extended protection uh, I'm going to be doing mildly extended drains on this probably 10,000 15,000 mile intervals and uh, analyzing with Blackstone labs every now and then just to see how the oil is holding up um, yeah I've been debating for a while this thing is not under warranty it is 27 years old let's see how it handles extended drains on a nice tight engine that does not burn any oil or leak any fluids whatsoever. So we're gonna head to AutoZone or O'Reilly's depending on who has what in stock. Um, other than that, uh, and I need to top up my washer fluid because it is empty. I have some nice Rain-X fluid in the trunk. Yeah, I haven't really been making videos anymore. Um, I'm still playing BeamNG and whatnot, but I don't know. I drive a lot, and driving a lot in real life has kind of made me game less, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does or not, but yeah, maybe eventually I'll reignite my spark for YouTube videos uh, here soon. I want to kind of do more automotive stuff. I just put a new alternator on this thing uh, three or four days ago. I was going to make a video on that, but I had to get it done before it got dark, and I was running out of daylight, so I was hurrying. But if you guys would be interested in seeing more automotive things, uh, let me know. Because with this thing not being under warranty, I'm doing pretty much most of the work myself. Aside from suspension stuff, that has to go to a shop. I don't have the tools for that. There it is. My favorite auto zone. These guys are awesome. The employees always love it when I show up because I'm here so often. I'm gonna run inside and grab this oil. I shall see you guys in a minute. Hello, sir. Hey. How's it going? Front pH two, extra guard. Two ten. 
M210A, $15. Put an oil filter. I may have to go to O'Reilly's. I don't really want to use the Mobile One filter. Well, I think it's the M210A. I'll meet you guys in a second. I remember right, Walmart is, which direction is Walmart? I think it's this way. We'll find out. I was wrong, it is the other direction. Dude, let's go. It's flipping legal, you e. tires. I just took life off of them. person's trying to do really wish they would figure it out job didn't I? Let's fix that.
trip to Walmart complete. Stuff returned to AutoZone. We got a much better deal. We got the Valvoline extended protection high mileage for $31 for five quarts. And then they didn't have the XG2 filter. So we got the uh, synthetic endurance 25,000 mile filter uh, for 12 bucks, something like that. Uh, and then I got an extra quart of that by itself. Uh, just in case this thing ends up burning some along this extended drain interval, I have a quart of the same oil to top it up if needed. As far as I know, it does not consume oil, so that shouldn't be a huge deal. But anyway, guys, let's get going on home. And hopefully, eventually, all this crap dries out and I can do this oil change. Alright, guys, so we have the oil filter and everything ready to go. Cars up on ramps, as you can see. We have the Valvoline extended protection, uh, high mileage version. It has an awesome ad lib package, and the Fram FE2 oil filter rated for 25,000 miles. Going to be doing an extended drain interval on this car, probably 10,000 miles or more. So, I'm going to test a couple different oils and see how they hold up. Anywho, let me get down here and I'll be back, back with you guys. Alright, so we're under the car now. And as you can see, right there is the drain plug. And right up here is the oil filter. And thankfully, the last time this was done, it was not done by me, but it's got a Wix filter on it. And, holy crap, they used a ton of grease on that front end. Like, damn, is that really necessary? Jesus, I'm gonna blow up my seals. Go reach up in here. Yeah, the oil filter seems to be hand tight, which is good. Oil filter remover tool thingy fits on here, and it does. That's nice. Whether or not my ratchet will fit around there, I'm not entirely sure. Somebody greased the ever-loving crap out of this front end, which is great, except for when I'm trying to work on it. So, first off, oh, I have to have access to my tools. This will be a lot easier with larger ramps. It gave more angle, but I'm not necessarily small. There's not necessarily a ton of room here. Uh, I believe uh, this is a 15 millimeter for the drain plug. Let's find out without getting my finger in the camera. Oh, it is 16 or 17. There's a 16. Alright, it is a 16. Let's see if that wants to stay on there like that. I already have the uh, oil pan ready. Alright, I have it on Titan. Put it on loosen. Okay, make sure the drain pan is ready to go. Isn't going to make a mess. Just going about out of here. There we go. She's draining. 
That oil still looks beautiful. Let that drain. Pan's hopefully not going to overfill. Greta would be angry. I did notice they seem to have a trans line weep right there. So that kind of sucks. I have to get that taken care of. Alright, it's been a bit of a mess, but old oil's drained, drain plug is reinstalled, new filters in. Since I didn't have this wheel turned, highly recommend you crank these wheels to one side, otherwise could be a bit tight getting the filter in up over this uh, pitman arm right here with the grease zerk on the other side, but it's in. There's the old filter with a Wix XP series. So now we gotta jump out of here, climb up front, and pour in five quarts of oil. This takes five quarts with the filter, so one jug will do you. You should be right on the full mark. Alright, we have everything moved from out from under the car. Everything is installed. Let's go ahead, pull the engine fill plug, or oil cap. Set that aside. I gotta go get a funnel of sorts. One thing I can say is, I don't know if you could see down in there, but it is super, super clean. I can still see nice bright silver in there. No sludge, no varnish. Super clean. Okay, I'm gonna grab my funnel from the trunk. It's somewhere in existence. That's clean enough. Funnel in there, all the way in there, and grab our oil. I grabbed the wrong kind of funnel for this. Yeah, see if I can get you guys a view without spilling oil everywhere. Full five quarts. Okay. Put the old cap back on. All right, funnel went back in the trunk. Grab some paper towel. Kind of a race against time. It's getting cloudy and dark. It's going to, it's not going to read right. Uh, so, move this out of the way. Finger in the camera. Get that down there. And we're going to prime the system. 
You get over here. So, couldn't fill oil or pre-fill the oil filter. So we're going to prime it with clear flood mode, which this car thankfully has. So, clear flood mode, take your foot all the way down, ignition on, and crank. Wait a couple seconds, crank again. Take your foot off. And we have oil pressure. Inspect for leaks. Also, did you guys hear how healthy this thing cranks? How even the crank is? We're gonna back her off the ramps and check the level. Come on, back up. Come on. All right, she's on level ground. Shut her off. Check the level. Grab some paper towel. That's what a lot it would be a lot easier if I was any good at filming, but it's not really my forte, so sadly, it's kind of a crappy video, but you know, I don't have a tripod or anything. Pull the dipstick, and I've got to set the phone down so I can wipe the dipstick. Oil looks nice and clean though. And in theory, we should be right at the full mark. Yep, we are bang on the full mark. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Oops, you'll be able to see it when I don't have my finger in the camera. But, uh, Right at the top of the cross hatch, yeah, my dipstick has a crease in it. I had a new oil pan installed, and uh, they left the dipstick in when they did that, so I had to bend it back. But it is right at the top of the second dot. So we are good to go. So this will be a 10,000 mile plus run of the Valvoline Advanced Protection high mileage, full synthetic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.